vast ruins. Oh, of course, because of the floating continent. This is amazing. I love floating continents. Bentornati. Welcome back to Star Sector Modded Madness with Minerva Newton of the HMI on version 0.95a, release candidate 15. We are slowly moving through hyperspace clouds because we are trying to reach... Ooh, what are these guys doing in here? Ominous. Uh, we are trying to reach a supposedly habitable planet in the Ultima Kowo system. Oh, those, those guys are battling it out. What are they? What are they? I think these are scavengers of some sort. This is probably a, just a scavenger fight. Slow down. There's a Tarsus in there. Two almost identical fleet. Yeah, let's, let's not get involved. Those guys can be very territorial at times. So let's just jump in this Ultima Cowell system where we find prospectors, I think. There's a little bit of a junk that we can assess in here. We got the location of a ultra-rich rare ore planet. Few bits and pieces. Now, where's the habitable planet? I suppose it's this one. Let's uh, let's visit them all. Let's take a look at what is that? Orbital habitat. Very good. While making a preliminary assessment, your salvage crews find some occupied sleeper pods. Attempt to open the pods. We gain 60... No, 46 crew. Good, good. Welcome aboard. Oh, and there's even some form of ruins, both around here and there. So, a lot to gain in this place. Let's perform a survey. Scattered ruins. Only 175%, not bad. Oh, this was the civilized. I see. Explore the ruins. I think we got... Oh, no, we're just 20 short of 350. Or we might have had a new run of, uh, of our drones. Do I want to hit the orbital habitat right now? I probably do. Explore. More pods. 61 marines. Not bad. Not bad. And we get a ton of food. That I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to carry. Uh, let's drop the ore. And I think both food and goods are going to be better than... Actually, metals are better than food. I'm debating with myself if, if I want to keep the food because I might use that in my own colony. So maybe I'll drop a little bit of metal in here. Ooh, 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 I didn't double tap. Wait, wait, come back. Double tap. And drop even more metal. Okay, now. This thing. So much de debris around here. High risk. I shouldn't really do this because I'm gonna lose heavy machinery every time. And I don't want the ore. I really don't want the ore. Give me a little bit of that. Let's survey this thing. Okay, sparse ore deposits, habitable, widespread ruins, 125%. Unfortunately, not very valuable as a planet, 
all things considered. It's hot. It's got extreme weather that we could remove. So we could bring it to 100%. Very round 100%. And yeah, it's got the widespread ruins, but that doesn't really do a lot for us in the long run. No, I don't want to consider those mining frigates. I can have a lot of mining frigates. We get... It's... It's Sar Cannon. Aha. Uh -huh. Sar Cannon. 271 damage per second. 950 a pop at 1200 units of range, you say. That's interesting. Ooh, okay, okay. I want only 20 of this. <laughs> because they are gonna get converted into drone ships. And this stuff, of course. And then a minigun. This is just called minigun. And this is a medium ballistic. Like, this thing is supposedly, what, like, large as a bus? I'm gonna take it, though. Very long range. You know what? I'm gonna swap this for this. Alright, confirm and continue. No need to mine, no need to do anything else around here. And then I'm gonna visit this other planet before we can move to another objective. And look at this, more ruins. Scattered ruins. Explore. More pods. An administrator. Europa Hunter. Oh, this is nice, a monstro cannon array. I love that. Oh, I gotta drop something else. Alright, drop some of that. What was that again? 175%. I see, I see. Um, okay, a calm relay and two stable locations. Ah, this is another very meh system. I mean, yes, the planet is habitable. And we might manage to make it even better. What is, what, what's, what's this about? Oh, cargo pods, like, that's, that's my junk. What is... The other cargo pods, yes, of course. Sorry about that. That must be the Tarsus. Now, now that we are here... We've got this entire constellation that we could take a look at. We've got probably enough fuel to get back to Xi'an, but also to Op Opuntia that we know we can refuel at. So how about we go visit at least another yellow sun? We could do Libertas and then Namarak. Maybe even more than that. Maybe we can maybe we can hit this what's that name? S Strange Reel. <laughs> Wait a second. There's only one unsurveyed there. Oh we were there a second ago, of course. We've been there, in Strange Real. Show system info. Yeah. 
the dust world, of course. So maybe... Maybe this and this. Mesh. Delta Shedim. Beta Shedim. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try and get to this. Tarsus Freighter. Explore. Consider ship recovery, it's very damaged. Compromise storage. No, thank you. Oops. I wasn't quick enough. What is that? What is that? What is that? Colossus. Explore. Take a look. Again. It's so... So destroyed that... It's not worth it. Do I want to get any of this? Maybe only this stuff. The heavy machinery is valuable. A lot more than the domestic goods, actually. Yeah, let's let's do this. And slow down again. Yes, we are consuming supplies faster than normal because we are carrying all our junk. Bunch of invasions going on. And we're off. Here we are at Mesh. All right, Mesh, what do you have for me? You have a nav buoy, a pristine one, and two stable locations. That is already pretty good. Then you have four planets. Baron bombarded, Baron... An artificial world, and an arid world. Okay, there's, there's some potential here. There is some potential. Abundant ore deposits. Let's go for the other Baron. You know what, though? Um, I see my character tab flashing, flashing in there. And I just now realized that one of the next skills I could go for is field repairs. Field repairs have this fantastic thing of, first of all, making uh, repairs more efficient, right? 29% of hull and armor damage taken, repaired after combat at no cost. But also, uh, recover ships have fewer demods on average which I should have done as soon as possible, and also the chance to remove a D-mod per month from a randomly selected ship. So I think this absolutely fits the character, and we should do it. There you go. Okay, now we can proceed. A Venom. Explore. Oh, we got survey data for Tizerok. A Venom is a really small ship, isn't it? Take a look at the engineering report. Uh, it's only got ill-advised modification, which is the standard for pirate jobs. Oh, main plus 10 supplies per month of maintenance? No. 
crap it. Perform a survey here. I think, yes, we have ruins. More abundant ore deposits. Explore the ruins. Cargo manifest, uh, volatiles. Begin salvage. Okay, a gamma core. Nice. Then, okay, this, this. Give me the transplutonics. Oh my god, so many volatiles, so little space. Okay, give me the volatiles. Take the food. Take the food. Um, I'm gonna do this. Give me only 350, so this gets entirely converted into uh, drone ships. Confirm and continue. Yes. And we got the valuable stuff. Now, for the artificial world. This has gotta be interesting. Wait, don't, don't maybe, maybe don't get into the sun. Like, straight away. Perform a survey. And of course there's nothing to mine. I, I mean, I mean, I ad adore this thing that we have an artificial planet as an idea. The thing though, an artificial planet should be extremely mineable. <laughs> like, the artificial planet should be, uh, okay. Plus 100% defense rating is very good. But why doesn't it automatically count as widespread ruins? Right? It would make sense. Anyway. I mean, it already has a bonus. I understand. Continue. Leave. Ooh, look at that. That's an entire... That's a spaceship graveyard. That's what it is. That is stuff. And this is a... What is that? M Mons bit. It's a freighter. Explore. Ooh, that's, that's an interesting thing. It's a private Star Wars. It only has a degraded drive fields, bringing it to 8. Which is not much worse than my ships. Cargo capacity isn't immense, though. Only 300. I think this is kind of the private Star Wars equivalent of the of the mule so I'm not gonna do anything with that there's a drum let's just salvage the drum a bully explore the bully Only structural damage. A bully can field one large ballistic. Interesting. You know what? I think I'm gonna take this. It's it's not a big ship or an overly interesting ship overall, but it's in very good condition. So it's kind of free. And then we have Oh, this is this this looks interesting. An E E15 wingman. And a mud skipper. Oh wait, I think I should do this. Yes. D 
the iPad Cud 15 appears to be a heavily converted, up-armored kite chassis, with additional weaponry half assetly installed and bolted on top and around the vessel. So much has changed about the vessel and that its original atmospheric winds are almost entirely concealed amidst a plethora of armor plates, ammo distributors and flux coils. Thermite Flare Launcher Fits a medium ballistic. <laughs> no, with with that flux dissipation. No, this this time I'm not gonna spend a point. So I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, let's proceed toward New Surok. And maybe take a look at this. What is this? A Mudskipper class civilian transport. Not not interested. Not interested in a Mudskipper. What are you? You are investigating, but really soon you will be doing something else. I know. I know fleets like this. You pretend to be miners and prospectors. And I cannot really... Ships. Nothing I could have done in there. Absolutely nothing I could have done. Armored tankers. I mean, what do they have really? They have a bully, a mule. Evide it. Two cranes. Standard composite freighter. Heavy burst laser. Thunder heavy interceptor wings. They have wings. Yeah, they have a number. A number of fighter wings. And then this. I'm not sure we can survive this. Also, look, look at the number of officers. I think I'll have to use another story point to disengage. Oh wait, there was a... I could answer the hail. There's a survivor settlement in there. This is the same speech we got in the uh, in the last episode. They're asking for news about the sector. They want to know if Half-Life 3 is, has finally come, come out. Um, they want... They want me to drop 20 fuel on top of some form of scoundrels that are, that are giving them a hard time and they're gonna give us a hundred food as a reward uh, I'm gonna do it for the XP man the jury rigged antimatter bombs serve to obliterate the target most satisfyingly leaving nothing but a patchwork of craters scouring the landscape Titan Diablo is most pleased excellent he crows Take your reward, friend, you've earned it. A while later, your shuttle returns to your fleet with the promised goods. There's one... That's one problem taken care of, at least. Now I can survey. Okay, this is an entirely different thing. This is a different beast. We've got organics. Ore deposits. Sparse rare ore, but it's just a minus one, and poor farmland. We could live in here. We could establish a colony here. And the mining and farming would be... would be pretty good. And would support uh, most of the exploration of the nearby colonies. You know what? I'm not going to explore the ruins right now because I'm probably gonna be back. 
but then again I could find something extremely interesting, like another administrator. <laughs> I now have two administrators. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Great houses. A car carry-on... Carry-on? Carry-on seeker battery. Very interesting. All oh, right, all that food. More sensor contacts in there. All right, this is all explored, and I think we want to get out of here as soon as possible, lest we are forced to spend uh, many more story points bamboozling pirates a Macau explore a radic fuel injector okay Macau Standard recovery. Consider yourself recovered. You know what just happened? We got money because the month passed. We built an entire new uh, <laughs> order of, uh, of drone ships. And we've got this Macau that is getting repaired. And it is increasing our uh, fleet storage capacity okay this is run number three now so this is HMI lure three HMI spill 3a HMI spill 3b you should be Wait, wait a second. Yeah, you are mothballed. That's okay. Mothballed is okay. You are getting slowly repaired. I cannot do the expanded cargo holding space. Of course, that would be too good. But look at this. We just increased our cargo capacity by a lot. So maybe we take a look at this at the... Where? Where? Where is it? There, there was a cloud of thingies in there. Ah, whatever. Let's get out of here. This system is dangerous. Alright, so... Mesh explored. Delta Shedim. Ooh, the fact that we have more ships now has decreased our range. No, wait a second. It, it hasn't decreased anything. I can get up to here. Scratch whatever I just said. Let's visit Delta Shedim. All right, barren and dust. Maybe the dust world is gonna have something interesting in it. Up on the door. Rebellions, invasions, raids, all the usual stuff. Widespread ruins. Explore the ruins. Open the pods. 35 marines. Ooh, that's nice, a plasma cannon. Gotta love the plasma cannons. Get everything, now we have the space. 
So in the end, what was this? Um, moderate ore deposits, 150%. I mean, I've seen worse. But we can move on. Nothing else around here? Nothing else. So many invasions. The madness. The madness. And this modded sector. Ooh, character. I got an extra skill point. Nice. So, what is it gonna be? Not colony management yet. How about... Plus 10% weapon damage for all combat ships. Or... Plus 900% effect of... Militarized subsystems, escort package and assault package. You know... I don't know if this is even good. If you know, let me know in the comments. What, what do you think of auxiliary support? But I think for now I'm gonna go with weapon drills. Just to improve survivability of the entire fleet. Also, I think I should track my demods, you know? The fact that I currently have three demods on the Uvello. Let's let's do like this. Let's put them in order. Three, three, two. Okay. So if one of these demods get removed, I'll know at a glance. Right. But it's a thing for um, for for the next month at least in-game month. Alright, so what do we have in here? Couple planets? Only two? Only two. But we have two suns. Bera Shedim. Perform a survey. Only ore. Fly around the sun. And ooh, that planet is gonna be hot. It's a hot, hot volcanic planet. Dense atmosphere, extreme tectonic activity, extreme heat. But a lot of ore. All right, more or less what I was expecting. From the planet, at least. We can get back out. This is explored now. And I think... I've been in here. I think at this point... Maybe not wanting to venture farther away, we can just go and explore the rest of this constellation, uh, the Ning Nebula. So Ning Nebula, here we come. Ooh, a ternary system. A rare ternary system. What is that? Okay, that's your typical salvage expedition. 
at least it's not a humongous fleet. Ooh, orbital habitat. This gas giant has ruins, which is amazing. And there's a minor weapon cache. I'm loving this thing already. What is this? Ravenwing blueprint. Pilot driver blueprint. Awareness LPC. Urumi fan laser. I, th I think we have one of these already. Yupir auto cannon from the Vic. And a pulse rocket MRM. Let's see if we can maybe get to know better this giant here. All the survey equipment that we have. <laughs> Only five supplies. Go ahead. Vast ruins. Oh, of course, because of the floating continent. This is amazing. I love floating continents. Hundred and fifty percent hazard rating. Unfortunately, it's not very mineable. Only trace volatiles. I mean, you can you can mine volatiles there. Uh, so it's just a minus one. But explore the vast ruins. Ooh. Okay, this we know what. I, I mean, gamma core standard. A fusion bomb barrage <laughs> from Magellan. Okay. Adropos torpedo, okay. A bright hair rocket launcher from Rust Belts. Ooh, integrated pond defense AI. I don't know why I got so excited. It's just integrated point, point defense. Vic integrated assault systems. That is interesting. <laughs> Roach class. Heavy Frigate Retrofit Template, because we want more roaches, right? Razor LPC? What are you? Atmospheric Mineralizer, a powerful and specialized terraforming package containing a nanoforge loaded with firmware, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Allows toxic or dense atmospheres to be completely terraformed. That's what I wanted to know. Give me only 350 of these. This is our next run. That's a lot of stuff. Do I want a ton of food? That I cannot carry. I think I need to stabilize this this stuff. I need to get get it. No, I don't have to get it. It, it can stay out there. So let's do that. Sort and that. And I still cannot carry everything. What else did I take? Oh, all of this. You know what? Don't give me that. Just give me nothing. I can't. Oh, I'm. What am I doing? This. This is what I wanted to do. But. Confirm and continue. Leave. Cargo pods. Interact. Pod the pods into a stable orbit. That's gonna consume 177 supplies. Ouch. Because it's a lot of stuff. Is this worth it? 177 supplies? I mean, it's 8,000 units of food. So probably. Proceed. Um, I now have a bunch of stuff, but I can have even more stuff because there's a orbital habitat in here. Explore. What? Is, oh, a month's bit. I've already saw one of those. 
No long-term damage on this Prometheus, you say? Consider ship recovery. I could run bo both of these guys. It's gonna cost me 55... supplies to fully recover these two. I mean, this is more... Um, more carry capacity. I'm not gonna take the medals. Uh, I'm gonna double tap. Oh yes. Okay, let me take a look at this. So you're gonna need a good reworking to get back into shape. But that that gave me a ton more space, I think. Well, not a ton. 300, more or less. More or less 300. Uh, let's let's see. Let's see if we are able to run this. These are just medals, I think. I don't think I can get stuff out of this without getting them out of orbit. Oh, there's a... There's something floating there. Is it moving? No, I don't think it is. It's a debris cloud. Let's assess this. Okay, it's stuff. Also, a month went by and... No, I, I didn't have enough for another run. So, the number of... Uh, um of drone ships is still the same. Let's go visit this irradiated world. And then what do we have? A burnt one, barren, irradiated, volcanic. A volcanic that far from the center. Interesting. So definitely still a lot to do and explore in here, but for now guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next episode. Alla prossima.